Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You join me on a Monday evening, and I'm starting this week as I mean to go on, and that is by riding my bike. I need to do lots of this over the next few weeks. We've got quite a bit to catch up on today, I think. So today's the day after Outlaw Half Holcomb. Well done to you if you took part in any of the events. Gravel sprint, 10K, aqua bike, middle distance triathlon, whatever you did, well done to you. It's cool meeting so many people who follow these videos. I, honestly, it's so motivating for me to both train and do this. So thank you very much. Hope you had a great weekend, those that were there. All the events obviously going off. Challenge Roth, hopefully those who did Challenge Roth had a great time as well. What else was there? Probably lots of other things as well that I'm forgetting. Anyway, so what's happening right now? Well, I'm coming off of the weekend with very mixed emotions, if I'm honest. Got absolutely battered by Lee Tunnicliffe, but I think that's a feeling that I need to get used to now. I'm okay with that, I'm at peace with it, well done Lee. Um, and then the aqua bike on Sunday, I'm taking confidence from, I biked really well for me in terms of like power numbers, just wasn't very fast and I didn't swim very well. But I'm always looking for the positive, so I'm gonna take that from it in that actually power wise, I am getting fitter work to do, but definitely a lot further forward than I was a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna take the motivation and now address the other areas. I need to drop the weight. I need to really, really focus on it. For the last eight weeks or so, I've maintained my weight, which is good because, you know, I've had periods of not training, etc. So I'm learning that, but I need to chip away at it now. Because for reference, I am, well, this morning I was 101 kegs and at the Outlaw Aquabike, I normalized like 310 watts but averaged like less than 23 miles an hour, which is like 10 minutes slower than I did last year for about 60 watts less. <laughs> so yeah, work to do, but I'm motivated and I'm gonna do it. Right, well, what's this happening at the minute? Um, last week, I got a solid diagnosis on my hand and wrist in that situation. Now my wrists are a lot better. They're still clicking a little bit, but I had another x-ray and the doctor was very certain that, well, it's very certain, that's the wrong grammar, isn't it? Certain that there was no fractures in any bones in my wrist. But what he was certain of was, was that there was a hairline fracture in my fifth metacarpal, which is like the outside of your hand. But he said, it's only a hairline fracture. It looks like it's healing really well. So basically crack on, you big wuss. So that's, that's what I've done. And over the last five days, the pain has really subdued. Maybe it's psychological, maybe it's physical, who knows? I'm now three weeks on from the crash. So maybe it is actually properly healing. So that's given me loads of confidence to plan for the rest of this year. I've changed quite a lot of what I've got planned. I'm gonna do a separate video updating you all on that, but I'm more motivated than ever. I've got a block of training ahead of me. I'm ready to, well, I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm ready to crack on. So yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm just coming up to Crumford. I've got a big ass hill to climb up out of Crumford and then we'll continue this chat over the top if I'm still okay. What's more annoying than trying to get 100 kilos up a hill? Let me show you. enjoying the uh, creaking. It could actually be the crank. This is one of those Shimano recoil cranks that I've just not got around to getting looked at. Liz has got one as well. I need to sort that out in the next few weeks. But it's just, I don't want to be without the bike for any period of time, so I'm gonna wait till the new one's sorted and then sort that. Whew, this is a big hill. So training this week is looking like, I was gonna play it by ear based on how I recovered from the weekend. I'm actually feeling okay today. I've not run. Just doing this and I'm going for a swim later. So I'm using this as a bit of like an active recovery day. But it is, I don't like the words active recovery because it is still training, but it's training that I can do without adding too much fatigue to me. The running is the thing that really hurts. So that's the plan for today. The rest of the week's looking pretty poor weather wise. So I'm just gonna play it by ear. I do need to keep getting more bike volume in, but it's just, it's hard to do indoors. But I'm at the point now where I've just gotta get it done. Even though, uh, wish I was going that way. <sighs> Coming up this weekend is the longest triathlon world record. It might not actually be, it might be tomorrow when this video goes out actually. 13th, 14th of July. Stay tuned on this channel. There'll be lots of stuff going off and on my Instagram, link in the description down below. Cannot wait to share it. James is in great shape, ready to go. And I'm in great shape, ready to hold a camera. <laughs> Okay then, right done and dusted, leave the stats on screen. I absolutely love saying that by the way. 
So I'm actually thinking about my fueling a bit more, well, a lot more now. I used to just go out on these like two hour rides, not eat anything, come home thinking, oh yeah, dung dead good there, and then eat everything in the house. I had 16 jelly babies, which is 80 grams of carbs over those two hours, which is quite sensible. Anyway, tea time. Okay, this is actually quite unlike me. It is now two, three days after I recorded that video. I did go for a swim. James Saxby was not there. I thought he would be to talk about the Guinness World Record. When this video goes out, now I've actually mapped it out, it will have happened. So hopefully we will have got it. And it is we, part of the team. You know, you've basically done it yourself as well. And hopefully you've enjoyed the content that's gone up over that time. There will be a documentary style video. I say documentary style because this is not Netflix, this is YouTube. But we're going to do our best. That will be coming out in two or three weeks, I think. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to end today's video there. My training's going okay. The last couple of days I've... What have I done? Uh, a run and two rides. Just doing what I can when I can with the weather, etc. Super focused. My diet is good. I'm mentally switched on. I'm hoping to get a fair bit of training in over this record weekend as well with James to be of some sort of help to him. Hopefully he goes slow enough for me. And yeah, here we go. A few weeks to go. I've got uh, an event in three weeks. I'll be at the Outlaw Forum doing the aqua bike. And then I've got an event for a few weeks after that, which is a biggie, which I can't wait to tell you about. But I'm going to wait until another couple of weeks before I go through it because I need to book it, etc. Anyway, hit like, subscribe. Thank you very much for the support. And I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock.